guys, let's get started. First, I'd like to welcome Mel to the game. Welcome, Mel. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you letting me join. I've been dying to get out of the house and start gaming again. No sweat, Mel. Jeez, it's been like three years since we've seen you. How many kids do you have now? Two girls. Twin five-year-olds. Wow, your poor wife. You mean poor Mel. Three girls in the house? How do you survive? I know. There are days when I fear that with the amount of estrogen in the house, I'll wake up my finding myself scrapbooking and watching Lifetime. <laughs> wow, that is the gayest thing I've ever heard, and that's saying something. All right, well then, why don't we get started? Mel will be playing a changeling archmage named Lorak. Cool name. Thanks. So, the group walks into an inn for the evening. Is there a tavern as well? Of course. I gotta get a beer. There's a surprise. Hey, dwarves need love too. When they can't get it, they drink beer. Fair enough. Okay, so Brendan's dwarf, Volcar, goes to get an ale from the bar. Kate, you and Keith head to the corner where Mel's character is waiting. Good evening. Ugh, <phone rings> oh, sorry. Hold on one sec. It's my wife. It's cool, man. Hey, is everything all right? Huh? You're kidding me, right? It's on the second shelf above the spices. No, Dottie, I will not come home and get it for you. That's what we have a step stool for. You can leave it out for me to put back when I get home. That's fine. I don't know. It's around 11. Yes, I told you that. Okay, I'll see you when I get home. Okay, love you. Bye. Sorry, guys. Everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. So, all right, I'm sitting in a corner looking at these three jokers coming in to the inn. Yep. You see Kate's character, Leela, first. She's a tall elven ranger with long green hair and purple eyes. Green hair? Yep. Weird. Behind her is Keith's character, Marcus. He's a big human, all decked out in plate mail. He's carrying a big shield and has a sword strapped to his back. <phone rings> what the? Hello? No, I got something to eat on the way here. Well, can't you cook something for them? Yeah, I'm not going to be home until after 11. You can't wait until then for them to eat. No, okay, that's fine. Okay, no, it's okay. Love you. Bye. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what's with her. It's okay, Mel. I understand. I'm married, too. Okay, so where were we? Kate and Keith were going into the bar while my dwarf was drinking. Uh, what's the dwarf look like? Uh, a dwarf? That's it? Yeah, dwarf. you know, a stereotypical, short, stout, Scottish sounding dwarf. Figured I'd go with something basic with the uh, punk ranger over here and seven foot iron behemoth. Fair enough. I rise from my table as they approach and say... Ugh, are you kidding? Ugh, someone better be dying right now. Oh my god. Hello? What? No, you cannot dye the dog's hair. Yes, you can give him a bath. What? Put your mother on. Ten bucks as she calls back again. Can't take that bet. No way. Do me a favor. Can you not have them call me with ridiculous stuff like this? Well, you're going to have to put your foot down. Okay, then let's at least bet on how quickly she'll call back. I say ten minutes. Not a chance. I say two. Two minutes? You're on. Okay, I'm going to go. No, I have to go. Please don't call unless it's an emergency. This is really disruptive to the others. Okay, okay. Bye. Bye. Whenever I go out, she... It's like she resents it or something. Yeah, I don't get that. I, I called you last week to let you know when game was. You were home alone with the kids. So, she goes out for the day and you don't say a word, and you go out for a few hours and she gives you a hard time? Pretty much. And you all wonder why I sleep with guys. Okay, guys, let's at least try to finish the scene tonight, okay? All right, uh, where were we? Uh, Mel, your character gets up and greets the others. Son of a b- Pay up, dopey. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, hey. Wh what? She's done what? Okay, I'll be home in a few. Yes, I'll be right there. Don't worry about it. Okay, bye. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta go. I'll try to talk to Dottie and see if I can arrange this a little better next time. 
Cool, bro. See you later. Bye. Yeah, see you, man. See you later. Bye, guys. Where are you going? To give Caroline a hug. Uh, okay. How come? Because compared to what I just saw go down, Caroline is the coolest, most understanding, most considerate wife I have ever met. And I have to hope that I will be like her when I'm married. And not like that gyno harpy that just got off Mel's phone. <laughs> Did she just say gyno harpy? I believe so. Where are you going? Well, figured I could ask Caroline for some advice. About what? Well, Caroline is so awesome and considerate, maybe she could tell me how to land someone like her. Huh. Maybe you should go hug your wife too? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, right.